So, um, sorry if you see this. This is actually my laptop, but yeah. Um, anyways, I just wanted to film this video because as you can see, I brought out my mini binder again. So you know what this means. I have changed up my collection once more and so I decided to make this a separate video. What I had originally intended was that this video go with my update my binder with me that I started to do. However, um, because I'm making such a big change and I kind of want to talk about my changes and how I'm changing my collecting style, um, I felt like it would be important to like make it into a whole new video. Um, and so that's what we we're going to do. So um, let's do the mini binder first because I feel like I have to talk a lot more than on these two binders. But yeah, Jinghoo and Honestly or Seventeen, honestly, there are no changes to that besides like I got new cards, which you will see. So you don't have to worry about that. But anyways, so no, this is not a haul. I did not get these all in like a week span. These are all my PCs from my other binder. And yeah, so I'm moving it here. Anyways, so let me grab the ones that aren't actually going into this binder. Um, okay. And yeah, so these ones are actually going into this binder. It used to be in my one inch binder. I'm just going to make that preference there because I don't want anyone thinking that I somehow splurged in the past, like, <laughs> few days when I haven't. Anyways, so, let's talk about this mini binder and why I decided to trans <laughs> go back to my mini binder. In case you're new here, um, I constantly change my binder and how I collect, who I collect, every single time. Literally, I swear, there's never been an updated video on my channel where you know how my binder currently looks because of how often I change it. And so, for this one, I decided that for groups that I am only going to be buying albums for but not actively collecting will be in here. So, I guess I have to kind of define some words here and what I would presume as actively collecting. So... Let me start sleeving and putting these in as I speak. But when I say actively collecting, I I use active very loosely, as I like to say, because um, I don't actively collect any of my groups in the definition that I would say active collecting. So, because I see actively collecting as a person who is buying their um, buying a group's comeback immediately or like pre-ordering and buying so i don't actually do that <laughs> i think um hingare for 17 that is the first album that i actually pre-ordered um more than one version for i think i pre-ordered um sorry about that i think i pre-ordered an ode with a group order manager and i just because of how many an ode PCs there were, so I kind of wanted to get a head start. But I only bought two albums when I first, um, when I fir when an ode first came out. So, um, so yeah, so that's what I would I would consider someone actively collecting, as in someone who's constantly buying um that person or like that group's comeback and stuff. So I guess the closest thing I have to an active <laughs> collection is seventeen. But, um, I don't fast collect 17, or at least I try not to, just because, um, I am a college student, I can't financially <laughs> afford that yet, so, because of that, I can't really, I can't really do that, however, um, whenever I do have extra money, like for Hingare, um, I actually had to drop a few classes, and I got a refund, and I was working a bit, so I was able to afford two, um, two copies, or like two sets of Hingare. So, that was like one of the only times that I was able to do that. But, if I was actively in school, and like, doing stuff, I wouldn't be, I wouldn't be buying two sets. I probably would have been one set, and I would have just traded or sold it and then just bought Jihoon whenever I saw it at cheap. So, yeah, I don't know where I'm going. Oh, wait, I'm trying to talk about this. Sorry. Um, basically, the reason why I moved 
um, these groups to this binder is because I want to collect these groups when I have spare money. <laughs> so when I'm not trying to catch up with, um, I was going let to let you guys know later, but Youngmin and Wonyoung, when I'm not collecting for them and then, or catching up for them and also Seventeen, um, so when I'm not trying to like collect for them, I will purchase one of these albums and maybe trade for my bias whenever I can afford it. If not, then oh well. <laughs> um, and I'll just do it at a slower pace rather than, or not slower pace, because I guess I don't really have a pace. I would say at, um, when I'm not, th this isn't a big priority of mine, basically. These groups aren't a priority of mine. Um, as much as I would love them, oop, as much as I would love them to be a priority of mine, I really can't afford it, and I'm not going to try to figure out a way to keep them actively in my life when I can honestly be doing, I can honestly be focusing on Seventeen and Youngmin and Woyoung, because those are now officially my ults, um, and I'm not saying no one in this group is my ults, but Dahyun's a bias and Taehyung's a bias, and um, Jisun, AB6 as a group, and uh, Namsook is actually, are my ults, but um, <laughs> in the sense of, um, okay, um, but in the sense of like, they're not my main priority. So that was like just a well rounded way to say that like this um this binder is for groups that I will not be actively collecting and groups that I will be kind of putting in the back burner majority of the time if seventeen um eyes one or whenever <laughs> eyes one and um if and me catching up from young men whenever I have spare money and I don't feel like buying from them because um, I get really tired <laughs> of trying to like buy the same people just because um, I find it really boring. Um, no matter how much I adore all my groups, I genuinely just get really bored sometimes. And I don't like to look at the same thing and then realize, oh, I can't even buy it because it's out of my price range, it's out of my budget. Um, that was my... Um, that was my air conditioning, I'm sorry. But, um, I have a budget for myself and so majority of the time... If I'm not buying anything for those three groups, it's because I can't find anything within my budget and I really need some retail therapy, so I go to these groups instead. And so that's what I'm going to be planning on doing from now on as more often. And I don't want to pressure myself to try to collect all these groups, so I decided to do a 4-inch binder just so that there's less pressure on me to collect and fill pages because I don't personally like empty pages. I don't like seeing placeholders or... I don't mind seeing placeholders if it's like Jihoon or Woyang or Youngmin because I know I will eventually do it. But for these groups, it always makes me feel like I need to either sell it or I need to collect more for it. And whenever I sell it, I'll eventually buy it back. So what's the point? <laughs> you know what I'm trying to say? So because of that, I decided to just keep all of the stuff that I like, keep all the PCs I like, and just keep it somewhere safe. And so whenever I do get the urge to buy something for them, at least they have a place or like an album and like a binder. Yeah, I hope that made sense. That was a really convoluted way of speaking, so I'm very, very sorry. But anyways, so let me pull out my other binder and we can talk about me recollecting Youngmin. <laughs> So, okay, so I have nothing for Youngmin right now, but I do have his paper and, like, his, like, area set up. I just want to say two things here. One, I am extremely disappointed and extremely upset with Youngmin for what he decided to do and his, essentially, crime that he decided to do. In case you guys don't know, Youngmin is the leader of AB6 and he decided to drunk drive. He made the decision to drunk drive and he got caught. So, 
sorry. Like, I'm really... I'm upset. <laughs> and so... I don't condone what he did. I will never forgive him for what he did, but I will always love and support him just because he has done a lot for me. AB6 in general is one is like my second alt group. Um, it took me three years of being into Seventeen, so actively into Seventeen, to officially alt another group, and Youngmin almost became an alt of all alts for me with Jihoon. So Youngmin has a very special place in my heart, and so what he did, I would never condone. And I think the smartest decision that they could have done was to let Youngmin leave, which I think, and I believe from the translation that I read, because I was very active on making, like, finding out what happened between Youngmin. <laughs> Sorry. Um, I from my understanding that he decided to leave and I think that would have been the best choice for AB6 as a group because had he stayed it probably would have limited a lot of things AB6 could do according to my timeline during the time and according to some research apparently because of Youngman's crime he couldn't go on certain award shows slash shows I don't know for sure if that's true or not but if it is that would have limited AB6's <laughs> would have limited AB6's activities so much and I don't think I would want Youngmin to live with that guilt knowing that he limited AB6 in that way. <laughs> but it also sucks because I really wanted him to stay in the group so like you kind of I don't know like it's a lose-lose regardless of what happens. <laughs> sorry I sound so emotional I'm like trying not to cry I'm really sorry but yeah but basically in other words, Youngmin means a lot to me, and I will never, ever, ever condone what he did, and I will never find it in me to forgive him for it. But I want to continue supporting Youngmin in any way that I can, because it's it's what he deserves, in my opinion. Like, I just adore him so much, and like, you know, like, sometimes people just make mistakes. And it's really up to you whether you want to forgive them or not. I don't forgive him for it, but I can learn to accept that he did it. I'm just very, very fucking glad that no one got hurt, that he didn't get hurt, and that, like, no one, no one, like, nothing bad came out of this situation past him leaving. And, yeah, so, <laughs> sorry. Sorry, I, like, got really emotional there. I'm really sorry if I was really jumbled and stuff, but, um, after... I guess hearing me out and you decide not to keep following me and subscribing to me and like you know being my friend <laughs> essentially because I'm deciding to collect young men and support young men I totally understand everything you feel is extremely valid because this situation is very very personal and I feel like um as a person who has been affected by drunk driving this situation is really shitty, and so I will understand 100% if you decide not to continue to support me, and, or, like, continue to not want to be my friend, I guess, because I don't consider myself anything past, like, anyone who watches me as a friend. I only think of us as, like, besties, you know what I mean? <laughs> and so if you decide to stop, I 100% understand. It's extremely valid. I honestly truly would not put it past you. I support everything that you feel in it, and if you're upset by it, that's fine by me. If you're upset with my decision, that's fine by me. I just hope you understand why I'm doing this, and why I decided to keep collecting Ongmin. He just means a lot to me, and he helped me a lot. Just He just means a lot to me, basically, and so yeah, I just wanted to preference that. I probably will attempt to not put young men as much in my videos. Um, maybe, I don't know. I know young men's gonna be a very big part of my collection, so maybe I will show it if I grow, if I gain more confidence on it, but as of right now, I will attempt to keep him out as much as possible from my videos. You probably will see it if I have to put stuff for Woyang away, but <laughs> yeah, I'm really sorry. That was just that was a lot. That was really, like, rambly, too. I'm really fucking sorry. I'm just- okay. I just- I need to calm down. <laughs> I need to calm down. Okay, sorry. I'm so sorry about that. I got really emotional and I got- sorry, really- I, I feel like I got defensive. I apologize if that seemed really defensive or if I just sounded really, really just a mess. I'm really sorry. But anyways, so- <laughs> 
This binder is going to be dedicated to um, Eyes One's Wonyoung and Young Min. So, um, yeah, so I, I decided that um, Wonyoung is going to be one of my um, ults. I don't think I'm going to call her an ults of all ults yet just because um, a little, a little tra traumatized from that. But <laughs> Wonyoung is going to be one of my ults. So, I will be actively collecting her from now on from Eyes One and then f everything after she does with Eyes One. So, yeah, so, anyways, oh, I didn't even show it. Um, I had a I Will mini photo card that I bought from someone, and it was fairly cheap, which I was really excited about, but yeah. So, I literally just need one more for Blue Eyes, and then I'll probably work on Heart Eyes or Color Eyes, um, just because One Rick, I haven't bought the album for it, or I think my friend bought me the album, which I thought was really nice. Also, this is on the way, so. Um, so I'll probably wait for that, just because I don't want to have my friends, um, buy, or, like, my friend's purchase be a waste, because I would already have Young stuff. But I'll probably be working on Color Eyes and Heart Eyes after I complete Bloom Eyes. I just need one more, so that's really exciting. And, yeah. So that is it for this binder. I still need to do a cover for it. So if you guys are really interested in me doing a cover, um, like a video on the cover, uh, I would love to do one. <laughs> and yeah, so let me grab my 17 binder and then we can kind of end this video because, man, <laughs> it's an emotional one. But anyways, so here is my 17 binder. Um, oh goodness. This always falls out of my pockets and it's like, low-key stressing me out because I don't know how to keep it in there. Anyway, so let me attempt to fix this uh, angle. So yeah. Oh my goodness. Okay, that took so long. But anyways, um, okay, let me see if I can cover this and it should be fine. Okay, that looks okay, I guess. Oh, I got really significantly darker. Oi. Okay, I guess. Um, I guess you're just gonna have to put up the lighting. Not this lighting, that <laughs> that's for her. Okay, you'll just have to put up the glare. I'm really sorry. Um, anyways, so today I have some Hingare PCs. So I am almost completed with Hingare. I'm literally waiting for one more that j that's coming from Canada, but I had traded this with someone on Instagram and they were really sweet. I had a Wanu coming from a group order, and they were willing to wait like a week for it because USPS was really slow, so I'm really happy that they were really kind enough, but here he is. <coughs> and there he goes, and then, um, I'm not sure if I made a video on this yet or not, or if I've shown it, but this is Jihoon's uh, dual version. Um, I did a trade with someone, so, yeah, but... I finally have this one. This one's actually one of my favorites besides that one, so really happy. So I'm almost done, and then I have an inner perk PC. Um, I'm in a group order for it, but the group order manager hasn't updated us on whether um, okay, whether or not we'll, we got the claim or not, so I guess we'll just keep waiting. Sorry if I'm really quiet now. <laughs> I feel really bad. I'm sorry. I probably should have ended that ended my rant with that but here is the Hana bookmark I think no dual this is dual <laughs> here's the dual bookmark and oh it's so pretty I really like these bookmarks actually I thought I wouldn't like them because the oddly shape or like the shape that they had but I think I really like them but yeah so now I just have a few more things we're actually co completing a collection today so I have now finished Haru. Oh wait, no. Just kidding, we're gonna do that <coughs> in a second. Okay, so I got this Yes Magazine Jihoon. I think this is from Thanks Era? No, wait, not Thanks. Home Era, I think this is Home Era. But it is a Yes Magazine, one of these, and apparently they're common, I don't know. Um, I know they apparently have a teenage one and a th another one. So I might try to collect the Yes magazine ones. 
because I actually really like this. This is really cute. But we'll just put it here in my <laughs> confusing page of I don't know what this is. <laughs> and then now, I think, yes. Now we will complete Haru because I completed Haru. Um, okay. So, here we go, guys. So here is the Vern Hoon unit PC, and I love Vern Hoon, Vern Hoon so much. They're so cute. And then, you ready guys? Oh fuck. <laughs> okay. Ta-da! I have completed my first tour PC page. That's like full Jihoon. Ah, oh, so exciting. I'm so excited. But yeah, so finally completed this one. This one I still need two more for. I'm gonna go border for this, but I still need to find Hoonchans. So if you have Hoonchans for sale, um, please hit me up. Unfortunately, I only pay five dollars, less than five dollars for all my tour PCs. So it's okay if you can't sell it to me at that price because I know it's been really, really hard collecting recently. Um, okay. So I had, I bought Sokman's um, Falling Flower and then I bought Ming House, thinking that I was going to collect OT13, so maybe I will collect OT13, I'll just put it in the back burner of mine, but that's what I have right now. Um, but anyways, don't apologize if you can't, if you have it and you can't sell it to me at my given price, just because I get it. It's been really expensive collecting for Seventeen and like other groups recently. And, nope, um, and yeah, I don't know, it's been really, really weird because I'm very used to 17 being a lot cheaper than they are right now. Sorry about that, that was my camera stop. But I'm very used to 17 being a lot cheaper than they are, so I don't know what's going on, but I am not used to it and it is really, really hard to figure out how to collect. Because in case you guys don't know, for tour PCs like these ones, I typically play, uh, pay $1 to $5 at most for these ones. Um, I join group orders where it comes in multiple, um, there's like multiple PCs, like there's like at least like 20 PCs, and because of that the group order manager has to, um, has to divide it equally throughout all of them, so typically they go for one to five dollars, so that's literally the price that I pay for these ones, which is why they're it's kind of empty, in a sense. Um, I think Machna Line is the closest one to being filled because it's really easy to um, collect Machna Line, but as you can see, Hyung Line is kind of empty. But uh, yeah, so uh, if you guys want any tips for how I buy PCs for really cheap. Um, please let me know. I, I don't have a lot of tips. I mean, literally my only tip is that stay true to your budget and join group orders because that's like the cheapest. But with group orders, it's a lot harder to do so because sometimes um, it takes a long time and then you maybe change your mind like I do frequently. So group orders are really dangerous, but really, really cheap. So yeah, anyways, so that is it for this video. I'm very, very sorry that it was so chaotic I guess I don't really know it was just a weirder video so um yeah also I'm at the edge of my table because if you can't tell my table or my desk is round so it's very hard for me to film sometimes but yeah I'm really sorry <laughs> about like my mini crying session in this video um I hope you guys just understand and yeah thank you guys so much for watching um I will for sure see you guys next time or maybe if you decide to um, if you decide to stay, then maybe I'll see you next time. <laughs> Anyways, uh, yeah. Bye, guys.